Now, this is the video about the uh, 23 years old female with damage of the left side is chronic subcutaneous otitis media mucosal type, and uh, she underwent left sided total endoscopic ear surgery. That endoscopic sign is mining plastic with our own to the hilocell technique. And this video demonstrates how we do our own technique of total endoscopic ear surgery. And we can see this is the preoperative audiogram. And in this audiogram, we can see that the, this, there is, this is right side audiogram and this is left side audiogram. And this is our own database entry provided by the EUNO for CNT statistics. And this is the therapy data. In this, we can see that the, this uh, bone conduction <coughs> threshold and this is the ear conduction threshold of the left ear. And in this, we can see that the, the hearing loss is near about, the hearing loss in this figure, we can see that it is near, near about 55 0.1 decibel hearing loss is there and the ear bone gap is nearly about 37.5 decibel. So this is the pre-operative audiogram. Now we can see that this is the central perforation of the left tympanic membrane and uh, now uh, the refreshing of the margin is being going on and uh, we used to keep uh, use the straight needle to refresh the margin and uh, here we can see that uh, we can also see this gentle opening in this video. And now this refreshing of the margin is going on. And uh, we used to refresh whole of the margin, epithelized margin from the tympanic membrane so that there will not be any problem during the graft filling. And after the uh, refreshing the margin, we used to use the crocodile forceps to remove all the all the epithelized margin as shown in this video. And now we can see this is the uh, refresh margin and then we used to use the round knife to scrap the any remaining epithelized margin. And this is the cartilage along with the periconium graph being kept in the perforation and crocodile forceps is used to keep the graph. And we can see that the cartilage along with the periconium is goes medially and uh, laterally this periconium lies so that the this margin of the perforation is sandwiched between the cartilage periconium medially and the periconium laterally as shown in the figure and then uh, this straight needle is being used to keep the cartilage and uh, inside the medial ear and uh, made it fit inside the middle and the periconium is being uh, mobilized to cover all of the perforated margin as shown in this video. Now the periconium used to cover the whole of the this perforated margin. And after covering the perforated margin with the periconium, we used to keep the gel foam to cover the graft. And this is the triangle cartilage periconium graft uptake after 20 months in endoscopic sinus management. We can see that there is a cartilage along with the periconium incorporated within the tympanic membrane as shown in this figure. And uh, And this is the post operative audiogram 20 months after surgery. And we can see that the, this ear bone gap is came down near about 16.3 decibel. And the hearing has a uh, pure tone average became the 23.6 decibel. So there is market increase in the market improvement in the hearing after the endoscopic sinus mining plus with dual hostel technique. Thank you for watching video.